cats are pretty much coming out of the woodwork. I don't know where this Siamese looking cat came from. First time I've seen it. Looks like it's uh, maybe gotten in a fight recently. Interesting. Okay guys, so got warm enough that I can finally uh, get back to work out here. So I'm going to be moving this wood pile over here. We'll be taking it and stacking it over here. So I've got to get that out of the way. We are going to be setting up a temporary building so that we can work on the smaller tractors without being, you know, blasted with the wind or frozen half to death. That's what I will be doing today. I don't know how far I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get the frame of the building set up. We'll see. Dummy, don't knock my camera over. This board is a little warped. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be good for something. If you're wondering, all of these came from disassembled pallets. termite damage. Okay guys, well, I got the, uh, I don't know if I could get the camera right here. I got the, I got the wood out. You know, I can never tell where the camera is on this thing. Anyway, I got the wood out. I have some more things over here that I need to get out. Um, some things over here as well. Once I get these moved, then I'm going to start, uh, I'm actually going to rake this area real quick. I will put up, start putting up the, the frame for the temporary building. I'm gonna grab the rake and flatten this off as much as possible. I'm gonna grab the hoe and just kind of very quickly level off a little bit of the high spots. This building is not meant to be permanent, so I'm not really worried that much about leveling the ground and making it all nice and smooth and all that stuff. This is just a temporary solution for an immediate problem. <laughs> The ground where the wood was not covering is actually pretty hard now. We are in January and I don't know. The weather's been weird these last couple years, that's for sure. Like I said, I I'm not going to try to perfectly level this thing. I was just trying to fill in some of the holes. I could spend all day doing that and I don't want to spend all day doing that. So I am going to grab a tape measure and find out, I have two 
big four by fours over here. I'm gonna find out if I have to move those. I'm hoping I don't, but I've gotta leave enough room over on this side. If you can see where I'm pointing, anyway, over on this side over here, so that we can get the tractors in and out. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I might have to make the entrance over on that side, and I, I actually didn't want to make the entrance on that side. I wanted on this side over here, because the wind block, the tire wind block that I'm putting up for this building, most of it's going to be over there. So it'd be difficult to make an opening big enough for the tractors, and I'm talking the little tractors, okay? The little tractors to get in and out of. I don't want to be moving tires every time I want to take them in and out. So hopefully I have enough room over here. If not, I'm going to have to move a little more stuff over there. Go grab a tape measure, which I should have brought out with me. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, the 30-foot mark is almost to the end of the foundation. I'm going to have to get this stuff down here moved in order to create enough of, enough of a gap that I can get the mowers in and out. I guess I better move this stuff. i got to say, this is a nice 4x4 four four over here, and it's also frozen to the ground. Oh, that's lovely. Break. Uh, this one is not so nice. It's in pretty bad shape. Oh, you guys went for a ride. Sorry about that. I forgot. I forgot you guys were on top of there. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll put that in anyways. All right, so this area is pretty well cleared out. I'm going to go ahead and get the frame, drag it over. Maybe I can just lay it out in some way. We'll see. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but the box has mostly been destroyed by termites. A lot of people don't think that there are termites in Colorado. BS. There's lots of them. I'll kind of demonstrate real quick here. The reason why we didn't put the skin back on the greenhouse there, which I'm pointing at the... <laughs> there! If I point way over here, then I'm pointing at the greenhouse. Okay, the reason why we didn't put the skin back on the greenhouse, and let me show you real quick. Hopefully you'll be able to see this on camera. These bars are much thicker than the greenhouse bars. And just in case you couldn't hear me way over there, these bars are much thicker. Those are about, I would say, three quarters to half an inch thick. And this is a good one and a quarter, um, I believe. This is one and a quarter to inch thick. So this is a lot more stout bar than those over there. So that's why we didn't just put the skin back on the greenhouse, because it, it wouldn't... It, 
even if I built, I would have to build the, the, uh, the wall, I would have to build it all the way around that. So this, I don't think I have to build the wall all the way around. I think I can just get away with uh, building it over in this direction, behind the building, and then maybe, maybe a little bit stacked inside the greenhouse so that, I guess I should say inside the frame of the greenhouse so that then it'll block the front without blocking the entrance. So that's why we didn't put that back on. Okay, so I got one more box to get. But I think I'm going to open it over there because all I really need are the feet and a couple connectors out of that box. Most of the frame is right here. Okay. 30 minutes. Uh, that's about all the time I have left for today. And then I've got to get the horses their supper, so we'll see how much we can get done. And it's actually getting chilly enough in the shade that I was thinking about getting my hat again. I don't know. Maybe if I'm working, it'll be okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know if this is an A or a B. Um, those are B's. Alright, so A's are the corners. It's kind of obvious because they don't have this. So they go in the corner. B's are at the top. Or they're on the side. In the middle. So. And these, one way or another, slide on to the, the big poles. That's weird, I thought this had a cross brace at the ends. Well, I don't know. All right, so let's get the feet on the legs first. I think the legs were number three. <laughs> uh, honestly, I can't remember. I'm gonna go see if there's instructions real quick. When all else fails, read the instructions if you can. All right, so we have six pieces of the number one. Okay, we have one and one A. I don't see a one A. I see a lot of ones. Maybe that's for a different one. Well, that's getting redundant to say. Should have six pieces of number three. I think one and one A are actually the same. That's number three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Well, I really hope they gave me all the pieces. Well, number three is the legs, so let's put the legs together. Oh, what does it say? See, I want you to do the roof first. I don't want to do the roof first. I did that last time. What does it say about the legs? Oh, here we go. That was uh, instructions for a different one. <laughs> this is the one I have. Eight pieces, eight pieces, nine pieces, six pieces. Okay. So, the legs. Oh, I just love these instructions. 
bottom of the leg is the multi hole. which is probably supposed to be bolted in, would be my guess. Yep, of course it is. Of course it is. Now I've gotta go find the bolts. Okay guys, found the bolts. So, um, forgot to bring a knife out. Nice thing is they supply an Allen wrench for you. Oh, guess I didn't need a knife. So these, oh, they even give you gloves. That's nice. These, heck are these? Don't know. Okay, I could have sworn there was an Allen wrench in there. In fact, I know I saw one. Now, where the heck did the Allen wrench go? Hello? Did I drop it? Ah, there it is. Okay. Let's try to see if we can get some of these together here in 20 minutes. See how far we get. Don't exactly know which way these are supposed to go, or if there is a preference. All right, which ones are supposed to go on the legs? D. Okay, these are supposed to go on the legs. So that's the top, so I have to go this way. Alrighty. What you doing, cats? I'm just gonna finger tighten those for now. Love it when these things won't go on straight. Alright, those are four corner legs. All done. So the rest of them... Just need this. are for the most part assembled okay now i gotta put a where's my a's okay there's my a's a a and e and two and a four okay That's done. All right, now we need a two with an E on it. Okay. Two and an E. Okay, now let's see. Now comes the part where I gotta get the orientation correct. Maybe you guys can see me over here yeah, a little bit. So I got the arch up there. Put this on first. So this is going to come this way. Now 
I need, now I need another A, which should be this. Another two. And another E. And another leg. Another one of those legs, actually. I think I gotta turn this one around is the problem. There we go. Yep, that works. First end frame is together. I don't know if I ought to put the rest of them together or not. I suppose I probably should. See how much we can get done in a couple more minutes. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I am out of time today. I have got to get the animals their supper. Here are the, the frame, the main supports. Sorry for the shakiness. But anyways, there they are. At least we got a lot done today. I got to work on the, the tire wall. But I'm not going to worry about that until um, I get the frame sorted out so that I can tell what I'm doing. <laughs> I know there's a lot that's supposed to go on before this thing stands up. But I, um, I'm going to bring over the scaffolding that we were using last time. And I will just kind of have to slide it over. See how that goes. Anyhow, that's it for today, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow if the weather holds. All right, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you would, please. Thank you. Have a good day.